leave people's form alone and go do your own gym stuff. You need to start doing your own wife, dirty bulk Carl the Cuck. I'm not kidding you. And that kid probably doesn't belong to you. PlayStation. Greatness awaits as you await your wife and her new bull. These weren't even fails. Nothing but bad form. Same fucking thing, asshat. That's like looking at this picture and saying, I don't see two bitches holding onto pigs. I just see you and your wife. Same fucking thing. He says, you can see that in bodybuilding as well, but yes, mostly CrossFit. Still, this video sucked and so does Eggly Intensity. He's nothing but a hater. I don't hate any of the people I roast. I pity them for fighting an army they have no hope of beating. Then he says, that's all you ever see him do. Try to make a name for himself by bashing people who already have a following. Lame. Shitty lifters deserve it though. Hell, you're a tow truck driver. You make money by putting malfunctioning pieces of shit in their place just like I do. Well, not just like I do because you make fucking chump change, but you still do it. Every time I hear your voice, I just want to punch you in the throat. Every time suggests that you repeatedly watch my videos, even though you don't like me and or my videos, which means I own your bitch ass. Also, if you're so triggered by my videos that you'd want to hit me, then as a troll, I've already defeated you. He went on to say, you have the personality of a mop. Well, I bet you clean that schnoz with a mop, which is convenient because it can screw onto one of those mop handles you call arms. After I told him these things, he set his profile to private, so I must be one of those mops that doesn't leave any marks behind. This dude does the same jokes over and over again. Actually, fuckface, the jokes are always different, unlike these generic shitposts that pass for trash talk these days. On athletes and all strength sports, CrossFit's not a real sport. He used to post his own gym workouts until he got heckled off his own channel, lol. Here are the stats for the last workout footage I uploaded. Almost 300,000 views and about 87% approval. I can only imagine how much inbreeding would have to occur to produce a simpleton who would look at that and think I got heckled off my own channel. Now the guy I mentioned in the title, he got heckled off his own fucking channel. He goes on to say, Someone who uses a YouTube page to blast people that are actually doing something with their lives doesn't hold a lot of weight with me, lol. No, I use my YouTube page to blast people who are doing something wrong with their lives, like ego lifting, taking advice from a juiced up moron, making a photo like this public. I might not hold a lot of weight with you, but you sure as fuck hold a lot of breast tissue weight on you, looking like chunk from the neck down and sloth from the neck up. This fuck move got roasted over a year and a half ago after threatening violence and never following through. The offer still stands, nerd. Your offer's empty, just like the plates in your profile pic. When you told me to message you on YouTube, you didn't even have messaging enabled. You still don't. Strong challenge. Meanwhile, I'm very easy to find and I never heard shit from you. You also didn't put any money up. That means you expect me to slap you around like a little bitch for free, which is a lot to ask of a pimp. Finally, you filed a privacy complaint against me because you wanted to save face after hundreds of thousands of people watched you get wrecked. The problem is you use your real name in your social media profiles. On your Instagram, you have a post where you show your dad's fucking phone number. You don't give a fuck about your privacy or anybody else's, which is why I'll prevail on this privacy claim, just like I did last year when Cali Muscle's ex-wife pulled this chicken shit tactic on me. For these reasons and more, you need to add another L to your name. Facial hair, ah, the test is working, soon you'll be a real boy. Just have a penis attached. Well, this facial hair must be from an old video. Do you know what psychological projection is? Let me adjust my glasses and tell you. It's when you take a problem with yourself, something deep inside your chest, and let it loose on other people. The problem in your chest that you're letting loose is gyno. You should really calm your tits about how other men look. This fucktard's wearing a C.T. Fletcher beanie. When CT commanded your chest to grow, this is not what he meant. You are definitely the oldest asshat I've ever triggered though. I'm guessing you're salty over all the times I've mocked CT and his exceptional lifter's son, Samson. But why? You should be enjoying your retirement, hanging with older folks, not on Instagram, sagging tits for motorboats. This androgynous wuss likes He-Man too, what a surprise. You and the previous dipshit with bitch tits need to band together and form Gynica Masters of the Universe. And that was your estrogen stack for the week. Like the video and subscribe to the channel now. It's fucking weird.